And we're here to reflect on how 9-11 changed us. God is active, even when we don't see him being active, even in the midst of tragedy. So active that there came a day when he took on flesh, was born of a Jewish virgin in fulfillment of prophecy, and endured the pain and the suffering of you and I, and every citizen on planet Earth, whether we cared about him or believed in him or loved him back, he still bore our pain. When Israel's land is divided and surrendered for peace, when people cry out for peace, peace, there is no peace. Are you not the God who rules over the nations? Power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you. We're compelled to pray for your people. Who do you think they're praying for when they pray for the peace of Jerusalem? Every person who lives there, both Jewish and Arab, Palestinian and Israeli, it does not matter. That's who they are praying for. That's what we need to be doing. And this is one time where I had nothing to say. What do you tell somebody? What do you tell these guys? And it's the Lord just quickened to me there that day, the ministry of presence. I challenge every one of us that all you need to have is a prayer relationship with God to where you're sitting saying, Lord God, use me, allow me to listen that through those times you have more answers than you ever thought you had because it's coming from God.